I want to ask you about um, for people who didn't watch uh, you before AEW, if they hadn't watched Being the Elite and their first introduction to you as AEW, even though like the win loss record might not be what you want it to be, it feels like there's been some really good story development with your character. Is that something that you've been happy about that on AEW so far? There's been some sort of development. People have got to get some sympathy for you, and it's been kind of it's been good development. You guys are starting off uh, strong, right? <laughs> Jeez. Uh yeah, it's been good, but I mean, that I think that's been the case for a lot of people. It's been the case for kind of everybody. It's been the, I mean, this is wrestling. That's what you, that's what you should aspire to, to do and have, yeah, is that character de- establishment and development. And I mean, since day one, that's something I want to do. I mean, if you're not wanting to do that, you may end up in being here, so, yeah. How much more do you want to get, like, in promo time and different things like that? Because we saw with your promo package up leading to Chris Jericho's match, you pull him the stitches out and everything, and it was really, really captivating. How, what, what more do you want to develop with that and uh, get more promo time in that regard? Uh, yeah, we all, uh, we all want more time. Sure. Uh, with, with matches, with promo time, with everything. We all want more time. There's only two hours of TV. Uh, so I will be taking up as much of that as I, as I, can, as I can make happen. Um, yeah, you know, um, I mean, this, I guess this is kind of my answer. Um, we all want more time. Sure. Yeah. Five weeks into you know, having a regular TV show now and, and leading into a pay-per-view out of TV, how's the feel a little different now? Because you, you had the standalone shows for so long. Now you've had TV building into these shows. Uh, it's been good. It feels like I've gone back to work like for good. You know, there were several months there where it was just the pay per views and stuff. So it it felt strange. You know, kind of like is this like is this a real thing yet? You know what I mean? Uh, but now it feels uh, real, legitimate. You know what I mean? Uh, getting back into the swing of things is good. Having a schedule is great, uh, and having a, an awesome team to to do this with has been great. And I think we've been knocking it out of the park. Is we go? Oh, go ahead, Bill. What are your thoughts on uh, with Cody battling with uh, the inner circle and all that stuff? He's saying that the elite are going to run at him. What are your thoughts on it, and what are your thoughts on a match against the inner circle? Uh, you know, um, we'll see. You know, if that's the thing, I don't really know. We've a lot of us. We kind of got our own thing going on right now. I know Cody's worried about Jericho right now, so obviously his mind is maybe on the inner circle, maybe more than Kenny, who, who's got a thing with Mox right now, with with me, who I've got a thing with Pac. Um, so, you know, if that's something that comes down the line, maybe so. Yeah. You've got Jim Ross on commentary. I wonder, have you been able to pick his brain yet and kind of speak to him? He talks in his podcast a lot, but he really wants to work with young guys and kind of help. Yeah, you uh, you don't have to pick Jim Ross's brain. He he offers it willingly. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, he's been somebody good to have on the team, you know. Um, and I feel like his voice, just his voice, lends a lot of credibility. You know what I mean? When you flip through the channels and you hear that voice, it, it just sounds good. You know what I mean? So having that you can't like you put, can't put a price on that you can't value that and that has been great yeah how about having like agents like uh dean malenko and jerry lynn backstage and everything like that how has that been like <laughs> cooperating with them and i uh, asked the scu about like yeah. how funny dean malenko is and stuff oh dean's hilarious yeah. Yeah. dean is great he's got a real uh dry sense of humor um jerry jerry's a sweetheart there's a there's a bunch of others too um it's been good you know some guys like to work differently than others, um, but it's good to have those guys who've been around a little bit longer backstage with us um, to maybe not change what we do. We're, we're not changing what we do at any point, but to maybe help us help will help some guys at least think through, you know, what they do and how they present themselves. You know, yeah. invaluable. How excited are you for your match on Saturday? Uh, should be good. I'm gonna whoop Pac's ass and. Uh, Kick him in the balls afterwards, maybe. <laughs> stomp on him, actually, while he's laying down. Stomp like that. Probably bust him, right? With you guys already having mixed it up once before, does this change your game plan going into this match? Or does it, you know, is it just you're trying to get back at him? Uh, I think the match is the same. I'm just going to try to whoop his ass again. Uh, but the, the aftermath, I've just added the stomp on the balls part. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You've, been wrestling, you've been wrestling for years and years. I wondered when you went to weekly TV, was there anything unexpected that you weren't expecting when you went into doing TV every week? And how has that adjustment been for you kind of doing that? Uh, you know, no, no real adjustment. You know what I mean? I mean, we we all do this for an audience, a live audience, right? So like you're used to that. You know, there might be bigger audiences now than they were a couple of years ago. But it's the same thing. Uh, and we all have done this for years and years for camera. Uh, now that it's live TV, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference between, you know, what you're doing, not really. 
I mean, that's how I feel. Somebody else might have a totally different answer. I'm sure some of the guys who've never done TV and stuff like that before, this is just like mind blowing. But you mentioned that you always kind of want to get more, and with such a big roster, it is kind of one of those things that one week there might not be something for you the next week. I wonder if that's maybe like an adjustment that you may be there, but you might not get to contribute that week and kind of adjust into that. Yeah, that, that's been true. There have, uh, I mean, there's only been one week I didn't have a match, um, but I did thankfully get to, to do something that week. Um, <coughs> excuse me, a little sick. Um, but yeah, there, uh, yeah, there, there'll be some weeks, and there have been some weeks where guys just won't get used. It's two hours, and then you got to factor in commercials. Um, so just you know, everybody's everybody is kind of fighting now. I'm sure they will be more <laughs> for that time. How's it been, just in general? There's you get a lot of good comparisons with like a lot of classic wrestlers in a lot of ways. One I hear a lot. I think it was Tony, or maybe it was Jr. They mentioned you were like Barry Windham in a lot of ways. Okay. Um, how does it feel to be compared to be a lot of like classic wrestlers in that regard? But how do you, uh, and just incorporating and factoring that in with your modern style today? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's funny that that might be a bigger deal for like fans than it is for me. Maybe mm -hmm. you know. Um, I didn't necessarily grow up watching Barry Windham. Uh, you know, I just do my thing. I do my thing the way I want to do my thing, and what people have to say about it is is on them. You know, I'm happy that I have the time and the the uh, the opportunity to do things the way I want to do them. And what people take out of them, that's cool. You know, whatever whatever comparisons you know make you happy, that's cool. But you know, it's just me being me.